Hello. It is uh, Wednesday here today, but it is also maintenance day. Shockingly, despite it being maintenance, the towers are getting scouted slower than normal. So maybe I can, uh, you know, scout more than one thing this war, perhaps. Uh, but yeah, what we have here is, I mean, just the freest Lionheart angle I've ever seen in my life. You know, this unit is omnipotent, trust me, wins into everything, never loses. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, just got her on this build. I mean, proof might be better because we're tanking Senya, but like at the same time, do I need to tank Senya? Not really. Um, so yeah, just got her and Pylos. And yeah, because the only thing proof actually uh, mitigates into Senya is the initial hit. Uh, from the S1, so it's like, eh, I, I literally don't care. Um, and that's only if the Senya is attacking the Lionheart on her turn, right? Because otherwise, for the counter attack, I do have the Pylos damage reduction. Where is it? There is it. Um, yeah, so. Rwana on Celestine for a sustained healing there. And it should just work out completely fine if I press the auto button, walk away, and get a snack. Um, now for round two, uh, the ideal comp, okay, is something more like this. Where you have Fighter Maya on a full tank build, and then, you know, just a green healer to uh, reverse bait the two blues into her. Uh, however, my Fighter Maya is on the Rocket Punch build, and this is definitely not tanky enough. Um... So, what I am doing instead is just some, like, side grade. I think it has, like, a similar win rate, honestly. It's less of a gear check on the Fighter Maya, right? Because you're uh, splitting up their damage threats. Uh, however, I mean, you know, it, it obviously has the loose condition of, like, Lua death-breaking address and then Shu dual attacking and fushing the address a bunch, but... I, I'm pretty confident I should win before it goes terribly, terribly wrong. Uh, now for the Doris, I've got her on Candlestick. I think Candlestick is actually really good into Lua, even though it's kind of an RNG artifact. Uh, because uh, unlike just Protection Set Immunity, um, it can give you the cooldown reset afterwards, which can be advantageous to you. Um, but yeah, my address is on a fairly bulky build. I mean, normally you'd want, like, maybe more HP leaning, uh, but that's just not how my gear rolls. Well, I guess I'm using two defense percent, to be fair, but... End of this thing. But, yeah, I mean, it, it, this has, like, the twos lining up pretty perfectly into a phallic shape, so I don't think it can really lose. Um, yeah, Alencia is just going to injure the shoe, and then after that, uh, it should be winning pretty easily. Okay, should be set to send it. Oh nice, the Senya is faster than my Rana. Um, can anything go wrong here is my question. Wait, is that, is that too egotistical to say? Wait, a magic for friends and fucking. Okay. <laughs> no, the answer is no, nothing can go wrong now. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean. Do people want to watch Lionheart press S3 a bunch? I don't. Wait, where's my skip button? You know, they. they they had that uh, combat speed up update coming, right? Does, does that come with animation skip? Because I really want to skip uh, Senya S2 animation. Like, that is the most useless animation in the game. It's like, I am Senya, watch me wave my spear. It's like, bro, that's not the spear I'm after. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm people talking. I need to. Uh, uh, look, it's the end of the fight. Wow. Easy as that. I mean, like, Ironheart K 
can't lose that round one. Let's be real here. Oh, it's Fan. Wait, who's she stealthing with Fan? What? Watch it be Apoc, that'd be pretty funny. I mean, Fan Lua... Okay, it's Shiu. I mean, like... Fan Lua makes this so much easier, because... I mean, I'm just killing the Lua first now. Wait, no. Shoot. I like this. Huh. Well, there goes my lose condition. Oh, wait, was that Candlestick Rally or did I 15%? Either way, easy. Uh, you know, I, I'm not really sure about that one, but I am not complaining. Uh, I'm gonna just injure this shoe here. Probably, wait, or do I wanna S3? Mm, I can S3, so then Adras can S2 and maybe Death Break. Contra <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it seems like I won from here, so you know, well, after this, of course. What the fuck? Actually, 100% counter rate. Uh, yeah, I have definitely won from here. I've just gotta wait to kill the counter. Hey, Pak. Hey, Ravi. Uh, that's gonna be very quick, right? Right. Okay. Well, that was pretty clean. Like, Lua not taking any extra turns just alleviates so many concerns, right? Because, like, the only loose con is Address getting death broken and killed, but even then, that takes, like, Maybe two or three turns of Shu attacking him, so I, I I really wasn't too concerned with that. Uh, but anyways, anyways, on to more unscouted structures, surely. Okay, um, should be all set up here. So, for I, I kind of like had these comps, well, not specifically these comps, but. I had this comp in round two with Rowana, and then like some SSB comp in round one. But I feel like SSB is kind of a bait unit into Aiden, especially. Because like Aiden probably just out damages, I mean, out heals the SSB. And if Bellion's really slow, I'm not really getting any SSB counterattacks. Uh, so I really want to just rocket punch this round one because it seems like, you know, a very free rocket punch angle. Like both Aiden and Zia are very. Susceptible to it. Uh, now, in a, an ideal world, I would have my Fighter Maya uh, faster than the Destina, but this is not an ideal world. It was. It looked very annoying to do that, and I feel like I want Destina to have speed on her. Um, because I, like, so I can make Fighter Maya like 190 something on counter, but I lose like a lot of defense, some health. Not a lot of defense. Some 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 defense and some health. And then I have to still drop like 20 speed on Destina, which I don't really have the willpower or uh, gold spending willingness to do. But I mean, I think it's fine with Destina tanking the Zia S3 turn 1. Uh, like, I guess it, it would be annoying if she does get silenced for a turn, maybe. But most of the time you're not actually pressing any Destina buttons on turn 1, are you? Uh, so this setup should be fine. Uh, but yeah, you just rocket punch the Aiden and then the Zeo probably, and then with the double mitigation from Armin, I'm not really worried about uh, single target attacks at all. And yeah, for the round two, I initially had the. Did I already say this? I already had the I had the Fighter Maya uh, Rowana uh, Green Armin in, which is the normal safe answer. But I've run this comp a lot in uh, previous seasons with the Alencia into this defense. I feel like I've been using Alencia a lot this season, surprisingly. And it works pretty well. Uh, more well than you would expect a grass unit into fire unit to work, but I feel like Mercedes is kind of just neutered so much by Rowana most of the time that it's she's kind of just like troll defense unit sometimes. 
Unless you're running her on a trap build, of course, in which case she's insane. If they're expecting the trap. Is it a trap? Ah, but yeah, it's just injure the shoe again and then slowly whittle down their team. Um, obviously, the uh, Lula Death Break is still a concern, but on Pylos, when you have Death Buff and the uh, defense stacking, you're not super worried about dying. Like, you'll obviously take a lot of damage to shoe Death Broken, but it generally just works out. Just like both rounds will just work out. Uh, yeah. Let me just make sure I had everything right. Rocket Punch here, Counter Set here. Are you is here? Mitigation there. Got ice crystal. It's either ice crystal or waters. But the thing is with waters, I only get value on the first turn most likely. Well, for two hits, and then after that, it probably doesn't do anything. So I think ice crystal and the off turn healing is uh, pretty comparable in value. Okay. Mm. One more thing. All right, wait, wait. Let me let me just do this one change, just because it is a very squishy Alencia. Uh, let me just give her Ed's hat. Minus 100k. Ah! Yeah, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? <laughs> Although it is slower. But, I mean, yeah, 1.4k defense versus 1.2 is pretty substantial. Alright. Going in? Wait, you have an artifact of Kukurana? Very cool. Oh, this fucking Taga Hell, okay. <laughs> They're not very good. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna lose to Taga Hell Zio. Ow. My Destina. Um. I guess I'm gonna do the old push up the green arm in and process 3 thing. Now, I don't have diff buff on my Spider Maya, so maybe it's not so great to hit the Aiden here, but I just want to get working on her. Wait, like, oh wait, wait, wait. I think how it works actually is the death buff comes up before the rocket punch proc actually happens, so you get the death buff damage, maybe? Uh, that kind of sounds meme though. Maybe it's not the case. Counter attack on both of the invincibilities. Very cool. And I think I just S3 here. It's pretty good value. Like Destine is low. All my other units are missing a little bit of HP. Yeah, this Aiden kind of is doing no damage. Hmm. I think I have three kills actually. With the rocket punch pack, of course. Yeah. Alright. This should surely be free now. Nice. Well, that went pretty smoothly actually. Maybe a counter bellion might have been annoying. Because I can't really tank Counterbellion for an expended amount of time uh, with Destina as my slow weaver. But, eh, I think it wins still. Uh, it just is a little bit more, you know, spooky. Okay. I guess maybe I should have done immunity on I did pretty good here. But, yeah, I'll just get them next. The S3 up next turn. Watch! 100% anti crit. Yeah, I mean. Uh, as you can see, the Mercedes unit did absolutely nothing. Mm. I guess I'll just S on here. Oh, I probably go 
S3 here, and then S1 Lua, and then win. Assuming I cut. I might not cut. Wait, no, I should cut now. I guess it depends on if this death breaks or not. Obviously, I would definitely- Actually, that looked like it was killing without the death break. Okay. Now it is just killing these things. Angle. Angle? There's no angle here, it's literally just what I have to do. Nice. I think I'll just stronghold to wrap it up, maybe? I haven't actually looked at it, so we shall see. <laughs> okay, I am actually not hitting the stronghold here because I went and I had lunch and there's still like five unscouted towers, so I'm gonna just hit one of those. Alright, got donated mystics. Very cool. Uh, oh, wait, no, not this one. Ah, there we go. Uh, but I'm just gonna be hitting this here. I did a similar attack to this in preseason, but instead of Yolha, I did Violet here. But I think Yolha makes more sense, especially with the uh, builds I currently have, which is a kind of scuffed Briar. Uh, this isn't the build I was running on defense, but I mean, she's gonna get Rico today anyways, because it's Rico swap after maintenance. Uh, but yeah, she's got some damage. I swapped some pieces of gear so she'd actually. Oh, okay, this is pretty much leaking the build she was on, but just so she would be faster than my uh, Steny here. Uh, but the idea is for this round two is uh, Briar presses S3, you know, Soul Brains gets the unbuffable on uh, the Karina and the Winter, and then Steny just kind of deals with the rest of their team. Obviously, the concerns for this are full tank Winter, full tank Aiden, and honestly, unironically, I, I hadn't thought about it before, but Music Box on Karina is kind of legit because it gives the uh, increased defense and she can give herself death buff. I, I, I don't know, it's kind of neat, if not, it, it, hmm, it's something, uh, but yeah, it's Briar Silver S3, Stanley cleans up is the uh, general idea, and then Yoha uh, horses. Uh, potentially the Aiden, or maybe even the Winter if she survives the Stenny. Uh, I'll, I'll just play it as I see it. Then R1 is LHC, obviously, because LHC is the best unit in the game and they can never lose an attack. I've never seen LHC lose an attack in my life. No, I, I have faith in my LHC, although I think for this I should probably run uh, Proof of Valor over uh, the old uh, Draco plate. Because, I mean, she will probably be directly Hitting my LHC at least once. I mean, eh? How likely is it that the uh, proof of valor gets fully worn down in the duration of the fight? Because it's like the same as Draco plate, right? Except I get a little bit over ten or it's like twelve percent increased damage, maybe, which is pretty substantial because my crit damage is so low. Uh, nah, I I think I'll just stick with Draco and greed a little bit because killing the shoe quickly is not very nice. Um, but yeah, I think this is okay. Let me just make sure I had book and stuff equipped though. Yes, this is a Taga house. Uh, and this is a symbol, so I will be hitting the Aiden. And then this has Holy Sack and Immunity. Okay, that's all I need to see. Oh man, it, it, it feels so weird. For some reason, my headphone wire on the headphones I normally use uh, decided to die so I had to use like some jank headset and I can like not hear my voice at all <laughs> it's uh, uh, it's kind of unnerving um, I'm gonna hit Shu because she can counter oh magic for how many times does that happen where the magic for friends just procs turn one day it feels like that is not the first time I was kind of hoping the. I guess I just gave her 20 CR from assaulting her. Oh, who did that? Um, so the priority target is actually the shoe, in my opinion. 
Oh, it's injury Mercedes? God damn. I don't think injury Mercedes is really too big of a deal though. Uh, I'll just rest SD here. Just through the barrier. Uh, maybe it would have been better last. No, because I still had the barrier from uh, protection set. I mean, she's not taking any damage. That's pretty nice. Sure, they all crit next time. Oh, I guess I did crit next time. I cannot argue with the results. And then they should finish off there. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean. If she's the last thing alive, it can get kind of sketchy, and she's attacking into the Lionheart. Maybe not sketchy. Ah, you'd need a very crack shoe for that. You get sketchy, honestly. All right, this one's kind of maybe sus. It's not sus at all if the Aiden is slower than my Briar, which she is. Nice, and it's also only a 12k winter, so. I think I am in very good shape here. Oh nice, I landed death break on everybody. Oh, that's pretty ideal as well. Oh, this life steal Aiden though. Oh, that's less than ideal. I mean, I just kill this, and I probably just horse the. Uh, no, I don't need a horse right now, actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, cause I can just. Yeah, I'm gonna just go for Karina. Since Kurt is gone, I'm in pretty good shape. Like between this and Yulha S3, it should kill the Aiden. Like I'm missing 11k. And even if it doesn't, her S2 is on cooldown, so. Oh. Well, I guess I can just hit. Easy. Oh my god, it, it, it this actually feels so weird <laughs> with this headset. Oh my god. But yeah, easy triple scout 3 -0. Uh, I don't know what's going on actually. Uh, why, why? Like normally literally everything was scouted three hours ago, but I'm not complaining if I get to scout some stuff. <sighs> Anyways. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you enjoyed, I suppose. And I will see you Friday. Mm -hmm.